one of the most often asked questions I get from cryptocurrency traders is how can I safely store my digital currency? Where do I store it? And this is in what's called a cryptocurrency wallet. A cryptocurrency wallet is a software program that stores private and public keys and interacts with various blockchains to enable users to send and receive digital currency and monitor their balance. If you want to use Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency, you will need to have a digital wallet. Think of your digital wallet as your savings account, not your checking account, but your savings account where you safely store money. Then your, you have in your bank account, you also have your checking account. That's where you move money in and out, pay bills. And then lastly, of course, you have your ATM card or you have your investment or your retirement accounts. But if you think of a wallet as your savings account where you put your stuff away to be safe and secure. So this, the very first step you have to take in order to purchase and store your digital coins is to open a cryptocurrency wallet. There are different choices of wallets depending on if you want to simply hold the largest coins like Bitcoin and Ethereum, or you want to hold many of the different types of all coins that are available in the marketplace. There are wallets that just store your coins. There are wallets that are attached to debit cards, and then there are wallets that allow you to make withdrawals and convert your coins into other currencies. There's also wallets that allow you, or almost all wallets, allow you to facilitate transactions, such as paying a bill or buying something. You need to do research and also decide what is important to you. Most coins have an official wallet or a few officially recommended third-party wallets. In order to use any cryptocurrency, you need to use a cryptocurrency wallet. When you own digital coins, it's integral, it's integral to have a piece of software to manage your coins and facilitate transactions. The community refers to these as wallets. Now, there are many different types of wallets, and each wallet has a public and a private key that allows you to move money in or coins in and out of your wallet. Now, there are several kinds. We have desktop wallets. Desktop wallets offer the highest level of security, but they are downloaded and stored on your individual computer, which means if something happens to your computer, you could lose the data. Or it means you're restricted to only using that computer at home or in your office to do any type of transactions. Now, the least secure but really pretty safe is the mobile wallet. It's run on an app on your phone, and you can use these in stores like retail stores and to pay for goods. Mobile wallets are usually much smaller and simpler than desktops because of the limited space available on a mobile. But they are pretty safe. Then you have hardware wallets. Wallets differ from software wallets as they store a user's private keys on a hardware device like a USB drive. Although the hardware wallet makes transactions online, they are stored offline, which delivers increased security. Now, you have to plug in your little USB drive or you have a fob. Okay. And it's a little bit awkward, but it is safe. And then you have what's called paper wallets. Okay. They're not actually paper. While the term paper simply refers to a physical copy or printout of your public and private keys, it can also refer to a piece of software that is used to securely generate a pair of keys which are then printed. So you've ever seen, like your bank account sometimes has a fob, and you push the little fob and it gives you an encryption key. You have to use that key in order to access any of your data. Okay. It is a fairly secure way to do or to store your crypto coins, but again, a little bit more awkward. Now, wallets are secure in varying degrees. The level of security depends on the type of wallet and the service provider. A web server is an intrinsically riskier environment to keep your currency compared to offline. Online wallets can expose users to possible vul vulnerabilities in the wallet platform, which can be exploited by hackers to steal your funds. So it's a question, does somebody really want to go after and steal your little half of Bitcoin? Offline wallets, on the other hand, cannot be hacked because they simply aren't connected to an online network. Then you also have to make a decision as to you want to use, are you only going to be a Bitcoin owner or do you want to have a one wallet for Bitcoin, one wallet for Ethereum, one wallet for Litecoin, one wallet for Dodge, or do you want to have a multi-currency wallet 
where you can store multiple currencies. So it gets a little bit more, not complicated, but a little bit more personalized. You have to decide what works for you. So if you're interested in using a variety of cryptocurrencies, the good news is you don't have to set up a separate wallet for each currency. Instead of using a cryptocurrency wallet that supports a single currency, you'll look for a multi-currency wallet. Now these are, are growing, but for a very long time there were very few of them. Okay. Now you can usually find from the biggest wallet providers a multi-currency wallet provider. Now the question is, are there any transaction fees? Now there's no straightforward answer, but you have to do a little bit of research. Most wallets are free, but there is a transaction fee. It's a small minuscule fee that's charged for each transaction in and out, because every transaction has lots of pieces of data that have to be moved, and that data has to go through miners, and that costs money. Okay. But the fees are tiny, and they're improving quickly. But again, you have to look at what type of wallet you have, why you want to have that wallet, and how you're going to act. So which cryptocurrency wallet is best for you? There's an ever-growing list of options. So before picking a wallet, you should, however, consider how you intend to use it. Do you need a wallet for everyday purchasing or just buying and holding digital currency for an investment? Do you need to plan on several currencies or a single currency? Do you need to have access from your digital wallet at home or for anywhere you are. So take some time to access your requirements and then choose the most suitable wallet for you. If you go online and just do a search for digital wallets, you'll find a long list of them. Okay. Read some reviews, look at their reputations, and figure out what suits your needs.